Panther or a Sheik or Ice Climbers. Yeah. The Ice oh, Climbers yeah. have some very unique tech skill they need to do. His, but. Uh, his Ice Climbers are really good. Yeah. He's uh, very slick with his wave dash down smashes and stuff like that. But we're getting right into it here. Going to Battlefield for I, I, game one. I'd love to see if he has some desync nonsense, but that's probably not a thing in teams. Well, he immediately does some desync. Yeah, so. he's he's really good with desyncs and stuff like that. He's kind of like a, a necessity for Ice Climbers, really, if you want to be playing at a level like this. Yeah, I just wondered if they have the space to do it. So this yeah. is... Samus is oh. extremely good against Ice Climbers. And, uh, and Fancy is extremely familiar with the matchup, too. Yeah, and uh, unfortunately, Nana already gone for Rocket. That's yeah, that's the thing. Like Samus is so good at splitting them out and then yeah. like, focusing out with that Nana. Samus is great at the Ice Climbers matchup because like if you missile Ice Climbers, there's like yeah. very, very little they can do about it, especially yeah. if you can like cancel your missiles. Yeah. And like, if you ever do anything but a grab, she'll just crouch cancel down smash and you're mm -hmm. split up. Like that's, that's yeah, all it takes. it's rough. Amazing snipe by Fancy there to snipe yeah. that fox without hitting a teammate. Yeah. But despite that, Rocket still. Oh, speak well. of the devil, Rocket's now gone. Yeah. His board stock, but yeah, he got that kill from uh, G's. Fancy in a rough spot for a second here. Let's see if he. Yeah, he hangs in there. We gotta try and finish off that stock on uh, Fancy. Uh, GB's now a kill percent. Wow, that was really awkward. Ugh. Yeah, it's hard for it's hard for Ice Climbers to try and go in if uh, GB's just sort of in amongst everyone because like all of Ice Climbers' moves are kind of just like very very huge hitboxes. Oh, unfortunate yeah, air dodge. He was going for a tech and he got a yeah. bounce off air dodge. Yeah, unfortunate. The classic. <laughs> unfortunate classic. Notice back there. Ooh. Zach had a had Tyler in a wave shine situation. Tyler actually DI'd in. Now, usually you see people DI away and go max some distance, but yeah. he threw off Zach's timing by DIing and getting it really. Yeah, Fancy has some. Fancy's just sort of on another level when it comes to melee. Honestly, like yeah. he just. They'll they'll take options that you don't expect people to take. Yeah. Just to throw you off your game. Like they're not necessarily great options, but if you're not ready for them, they'll yeah. work. Yeah, like he'll always just try and go like the best option in his mind like it may not necessarily be the most optimal option but like it's the option that will throw yeah. whoever it is off yeah. the most it, like I agree with that but like that's the thing it's not the best option like, you yeah. can't say the best option it's just he'll True, take yeah. he'll take an option that works yeah like a, mm -hmm. a, a less optimal option like you know it's oh, weird exactly losing another stock there yeah, so this game started really even but red team taking yeah, like, kind of absolutely just, massive lead mm -hmm. now yeah it's just kind of gotten out of hand at this point and Oh wow, G's or Fancy, sorry, missing that grab and GB's able to get the off smash, but no kill just quite yet. Rocket was oh, able to geez, yeah. Rocket was able to get the grab on G's back there, but like you're not gonna be able to wobble in a team scenario. Yeah, and uh, Zach unfortunately losing that stock, so looking like it's about to be over here. Nana dead, most likely, yeah. And now, Rock, Rocket doesn't have any other characters, does he? Does he exclusively play? I Lysis? think he's just a nice East player, so now, against the Samus it's gonna be and like Mike is also very familiar with the matchup too. It's a yeah. it's a good matchup for Sheik, but it's a difficult one. She has to play very safe, at least in singles. Mm -hmm. Now with, there's not really much of a threat of being wobbled here, so that matchup gets even worse. Yeah, uh, I think Icy's definitely aren't that great in doubles. Everything's more chaotic, but they can very uh, they, they can get hit off a lot easier. Like you can lose your Nana a lot easier. Yeah. And you kind of need that. And a lot of things with Ices is kind of like... It's not even just the Wobbles. Like, Wobbles obviously is suddenly not a thing. Yeah. Ices do have other combos they can do, but they still take too long. Yeah, and a lot of them involve grab and, like, a lot more precise movements and it might be inputs. E it might be easier for them to get the initial grab in teams just because you can catch someone off but guard. But it's harder and, to do anything. Yeah, but, like, you're not, like, you'll get down throw forward smash or down throw up smash. Yeah. Beyond that, you're not going to get... Yeah, you can't, you can't do handoffs or Wobbles because it's most yeah. likely just going to get broken up. Yeah. And that's one of Ice Climber's big strengths, so... Yeah, it's definitely it's definitely rough. Rough for Ice Climbers, but... Fancy and G's with a pretty commanding victory there in Game 1. Do you know if this is going to be the last game that we're going to get in Melee Doubles? I think so. Yeah. Yeah, it's either this is the last one or there's one more. I yeah, don't they've think definitely done all the winner's finals. Mm -hmm. I imagine they want to let people get a break before before the next tournament starts. Yeah, so. melee or uh, smash Bros. singles, sorry. Yeah. Mm. So final destination now. Interesting pick. This is a famously amazing stage for ice climbers. Yeah, but in, in singles. <laughs> in doubles, oh, that was dangerous. Oh, 
dangerous situation for Fancy and it works out in his favor. Yeah. Um, yeah, so yeah, in singles, but in doubles, like it's Samus does extremely well here. Yeah, S Samus can do well in doubles here for sure. GB's off stage, Fancy with the down smash, but didn't send all the way yeah, he wanted yeah, to, I don't think. Didn't get the right position nah, there. yeah. And, jeez. Looking kind of even, actually. Well, the, the issue is that not only is that Poco at a high percent, but he doesn't have an Ana. Yeah. So another interesting thing about Ice Climbers and teams is in this situation, whenever possible, I would not edge guard um, Rocket. Like, no. if, if Rocket's off stage, rather than go for the kill, like, if the, if the kill's there, like, take it. Mm -hmm. But if not, I would not go deep to edge guard him. I would actually just go 2v1 that Fox, because Poco is not threatening. Yeah. So once Nana's dead, like, you can almost ignore Poco. Yeah. That's true. Yeah, you want to try and definitely get that Nana out of the way yeah. as soon as possible. Now again, like if a kill is there, take it. Yeah. Like don't don't go out of your way to kill yeah, Popo. Don't go just... like some super deep and risky just to yeah, just take deal it. with a Popo. Yeah. Nice little short combo by Rocket. He's getting some good pressure on G's here. Fancy doing so much damage to uh, G Beast here. Fancy just racking up a lot of percent anyways. I think he's... So Tyler's the type of player that like if he loses a game that he doesn't think he should have lost, like he he gets upset but not in a way that it hurts his game. Yeah. So like he lost that last game, like obviously it was a huge upset, and now he's he's looking to show that, you know, yeah. he's like, I should have won that game, here's why. <laughs> yeah. Definitely. He never gives up. That's yeah. one thing about fancy. Yeah, I think it, that's a big reason why he's had so much success here in Newfoundland. Yeah. And a lot of people get down when they lose. He's the exact opposite. He just wants he to try. Ste and, he steps it up. Yeah, he just wants to try and get better so he, he can win more. Yeah. All things considered, though, well, this only, isn't only a one stock off, lead for yeah, red team. But GB's at kill percent. Nana's still alive, so that's why it's still. Yeah. 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 Jeep, oh, not good DI. Not good DI. There he goes. He didn't have a jump either, but. Nana off stage. Nana's gonna die. Yeah, here. there goes Nana. Unfortunately. GB's wow, gets the up smash on Fancy, though, yeah. Yeah, I'll trade Nana for, for his full stock any day. Yeah, that's not too bad. But, I mean, at this sort of disadvantage. Yeah, they are still hugely disadvantaged, but yeah. they still needed to get that kill on Fancy yeah, in order they, to make this a game They definitely got to try and take out uh, G's quickly. You know, a couple down smashes from Sopo onto G's or, you know, Shine Spike of some sort would be great. But G Beast is at very high percent now, and this is not looking too good. Both uh, blue team members, actually. A very high percent. Red team's playing extremely safe. They're not taking any risks. They know they have the lead. Mm -hmm. They don't want to blow it. Yeah. There's no like you know do some do some pressures with with Sheik's aerials and yeah. projectiles from Samus is all wait. you only really need to be doing. Mm -hmm. Just kind of like wait for the right moment to go in and then get it. G's got yeah. the tech chase to get the forward tilt and up there. And fancy misses the grab, but I mean it's not really anything that. <laughs> I actually thought he was going to try to get an extender for a second. <laughs> I actually want to see if he does another grab if he got it. No, yeah, that's uh, it. I'm not gonna see it. Too well. Not so too I, bad, though. I believe we're done. Yeah, we... Probably kind of, done. Yeah, yeah. I want to be able to take my own break, so... Ooh. I'm so tired. <laughs> I had, like, four hours of sleep last night.